the market was looking for professionals that were not necessarily trained to um, focus on this particular uh, way of considering cybersecurity. Um, you know, a policymaker, um, chief, chief executive officer, if they make decision, they need to be aware of how that decision impacts their goal achievement uh, processes, right? So we started to look for existing uh, ways of understanding cybersecurity from an interdisciplinary perspective. And we realized that, you know, just in the US, you would see education programs that were going in that direction, mainly, you know, uh, merging uh, law and engineering uh, programs within the same university. Uh, whereas, you know, in different research institutions, you would, sign, you would find programs, uh, research programs that were based on interdisciplinary initiatives, but there wasn't much on education. There was nothing when we started in 2015 at graduate level. Um, Oxford, at the uh, Oxford Institute, they had a, a PhD program. So that's how we got started. Oh, it's essential. So for us, it was clear from the very beginning, and this is like, you know, part of our mission and the mission of Polytechnico, that um, programs are neutral. They have to be independent from the market. But in understanding the learning outcomes, we really need to um, assess what's required and how it evolves with you know, the institutions, the firms, the actors that live it and experience it every day. So it's not something that, you know, you, if you just bring your education or research perspective, you may just focus on certain key points because you consider them relevant, because your community considers them relevant. But if you don't, you know, open it up, then you don't really understand what, what you have to do. So for that reason, from the very beginning, we decided that the learning objectives of the program had to be you know, aligned to the requirement of the real world. And, uh, and so the program has corporate partners. You need labs, you need access to data, you need to truly um, understand you know what is relevant about you know something and not just a theoretical risk model framework uh, you know design or assessment or evaluation and so the role of, of the partners and, and the role of Cisco for example in our program is to support us in um, mentoring uh, uh, the program in different ways one is you know to provide us with some of their uh, network academy uh, courses, which uh, four of them are a basic requirement for the program, so students have to take it. So when you come to class, you already know what you what, what to expect. And that's one way in which you know they are essential. Now the interesting story is that you think about how great this space is and what they can do and how they can interact with everybody. But it was also nice to run it online because we got access to Cisco Global. And so, you know, it wasn't just the space and, you know, access to the technology, to the professionals, to their expertise, but also we got to establish like connections with, you know, the team in Brussels that focuses on privacy and trust and, you know, people. So it was actually, you know, it's, it's, it's nice. This hybrid world really expands the opportunities we have and we need to take them, um, you know, we need to govern them and also understand the risks and, and see how we can uh, leverage them.